Shields up, Ironbreakers. How's everybody doing this fine Sunday afternoon? And uh, I'm here to bring you finally uh, the first footage that you will see, at least on my channel, um, for Monster Hunter World Iceborne on the PC. Now, uh, I didn't really do a whole lot on the PC ahead of the release of Iceborne, which means that pretty much yesterday... Uh, the entire day and the day before so Friday and Saturday I was basically just like burning through Monster Hunter World with reckless abandon now uh, let me know if the stream is running okay for you guys because this is the first time that I'm streaming um, above 1080p because there was never really any particular reason to stream beyond 1080p and I wasn't able to do it and with my new capture card I can do it and so I figured you know what better thing to try that out than the release of pc and um this is running at 1440p so you should be able to get like the higher resolution on youtube's end as well i can't do hdr yet because the cat the um, the graphics card that i have on the computer does not support hdr but i could stream this in hdr if i had a higher gpu um and yeah it is running at a pretty decent frame rate, as you guys can tell. If you guys are wondering, the GPU that I'm using here is the GTX 2060. Uh, I don't have a particularly powerful GPU because I do most of my gaming on consoles anyways. But yeah, uh, I am using the Witcher armor set because, like I said, I don't have a lot of gear on the PC version of Monster Hunter. And if you take a look at the Witcher's armor set, it's got some pretty cool stuff. It's got some really neat stuff, uh, and it's better than the Defender set. But the Defender set will do just as good. In terms of weapons, I am using the Defender weapon. And I'm using Sword and Shield because Sword and Shield is the least demanding weapon in terms of um, in terms of skills. So you don't really need a lot of stuff to get your Sword and Shield um, going. And this particular Sword and Shield has got 325 uh, attack. It's got a lot of white sharpness. Twenty-five. Uh, the affinity is coming from a lot of other stuff at this point. I don't, it doesn't come with 25% affinity. And it's got 270 blast damage. Like, this thing is ridiculously overpowered for the base content of world. But, you know, it is what it is. Also, I have everybody's voices set to Monster Hunter speak. So it's not English. But, yeah, let's do this. Of course, I knew you'd showed up. Smell of something exciting in the air and you and that handler of yours following the scent of the source. We got word that Elegion has been sighted in the ancient forest. Never seen one outside the Coral Highlands before. Sounds like something you want to check out. Something's going on in that forest. Bet bet you dinner this ain't just some random happening. So, let's head to the forest and do this. I'm gonna get started with Iceborne. This game looks fine, but this Witcher 3 mod looks weird. It's not a Witcher 3 mod, dude. You can get this in, in the game. How'd you get to play an early review copy? Yes, I almost forgot to disclose it. The, I mean, but pretty much everything that I have of Moss Hunter was provided to me by Capcom. You guys can instantly see the difference in terms of loading screens. I do have the game on an SSD. It's not any of those uh, fancy new uh, cards, the NV, whatever the hell they are. It's not one of those, just a regular old SSD, but still massive difference instantly. <laughs> SNS is the most balanced weapon. You can pretty much do whatever you want with it. Yep, 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 very much so. So this is the beginning quest of Iceborne. Uh, in case you guys are on the PC side of things exclusively and you've never seen um, any other footage from uh, Iceborne, this is how it begins. You come into the ancient forest and you do this investigation. But we're going to get a couple of uh, cutscenes. Now I wanted to let those cutscenes play at this higher resolution so that people can see the visuals. This has no mods whatsoever. Um, and it can look better if your GPU supports HDR. That's the only thing that you guys can't see on the stream right now is the, is the HDR stuff. And by the way, if you get um, the Iceborne expansion and you still haven't finished the game, because I know right now that there's uh, some people out there that are thinking, oh man, is this a good time to start Monster Hunter World? Like the gear they give you after you get Iceborne, it's, it just like trivializes the entirety of the weapon tree. So like just having the Defender weapons, 
you can just use defender weapons and nothing else. And it's super easy to upgrade to get the max level. By the time you kill Nair Gigante, you will have uh, a max level weapon. I think this weapon will even carry me through like at least a third of Iceborne, I think. Because it's just it's just a very powerful weapon all around. When do you get your first layered master rank armors? Um, you're going to see it in this video because we're going to get it. I don't... I don't think I can use the layered armor when I'm using this full armor set, though, but you're going to get it very early. It's pretty much the second you get to Horfrost Reach, you're going to get that. Does this game have no loading screen? Uh, it does have loading screens. Have you never played Monster Hunter? Um, basically, this... Oh, what's that? I don't think I'm supposed to go that way. I don't know who that person is or what they're doing there. But, um... You know, in Moss Hunter, you, you basically have this these big areas, like, oh, I can't open the map now, but you have this big area, and there's like six or s just like six more really big open areas, and you have a loading screen to that, but then no more loading screens. <laughs> well, I get the previous story from Moss Hunter World if I started with Iceborne. Uh, you can't start at Iceborne. If you buy Iceborne, um, you know, the master version, you get the base game plus Iceborne. You still have to play through the base game. But they give you weapons and armor to make the whole thing go faster. <laughs> yes, early access for streamers, Chris. And by the way, I'm only allowed to stream about three hours or so. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to try to show you guys as much of the start of the game as possible with the main missions. Also notice the resolution. We are using the higher resolution texture packs. So you guys can really see the additional detail at 1440p, hopefully. I'm streaming as much bitrate as I can. It's insane. So hopefully the game looks really crisp for you guys. There she is! I should increase the volume a little bit. And by the way, I'm looking at the frame rate on my end. I'm not sure if this is the same thing you're watching, but wait, I should pause the YouTube stream. Because, like, the YouTube stream is maybe... Some, but, like, the game on my end is running pretty much steady 60. So I don't know what the stream is running at, because, again, this is the first time I'm trying out this setup. But if it's not running steady 60, it's running steady 60 on my end. Yeah, there's no drop frames. CPU usage is reasonable, so there shouldn't be any drop frames on the stream either. <laughs> Director, please take it from here. Species of Lake Yana, not known for long-distance migration nor abandoning their primary habitat. Why they've begun crossing the oceans, an ecological mystery. Now, there's something has begun to affect the biological nature of the Lake Yana. Or they've been driven out by some change in their habitat. Some anomaly that has stimulated them to migrate beyond the sea. <laughs> oh yeah, by the way, Happy New Year's everybody. I also, almost forgot that. Thank you, YouTube Hide. Um, Happy New Year's, people. I guess some of you haven't seen the, the Happy New Year's videos that I've done. <laughs> JJ Boombox, I don't question embargoes, I just follow them. It is what it is. I got three hours or until I get to a specific uh, mission in the game. But I don't think I'll get to that specific mission. This <laughs> is a pretty long time. But the idea behind the embargo is to limit the... Um, to limit the amount of spoilers that PC players are exposed to that they might have been avoiding. Although it still, yeah, it doesn't make a lot of sense. <laughs> Yes, Arc Light, I am running with the high resolution texture pack. <laughs> yada 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 yada. Sapphire Star, blight your way. Let's go. I actually don't remember what the quests are at the beginning. I know that we're gonna take them the third fleet's boat. We're gonna head out. Master rank one. Uh, 
Head to the council table when you're ready. You mean where we came from? Okay. Airship's waiting for you once you're ready. There's no telling what you'll find out there. Another new frontier in the new world. Whatever it is, it's our job to investigate it. And without said not, there's still time to prepare. Oh, I'm sure. Let's go, Commander. What's your favorite type of shelling, Rui? Uh, it changes. Like, I, I have this thing where I just kind of like, I get on, on a certain mood to play a certain style, and it changes. Like, the most recent one has been normal shelling. I've been really into normal shelling recently. But before that, it was charge shelling. At some point, it was wide shelling. So it just changes. The most effective one, right, for me is still um, charge shelling. So long shelling. My character on PC is actually female, so it's kind of weird seeing her on the Witcher outfit. Yeah, I'm going to be using SNS throughout this whole live stream. It's in Monster Hunter speak, yes. It's a it's a fake language they created just for Monster Hunter. I don't even know if the if there's if you can actually speak Monster Hunter or if they're just talking gibberish. The game looks so good at 1440p. I'm not gonna lie, it is kind of hard for me to go back to <laughs> to the console <laughs> after seeing the, these sweet looking visuals. Like, look at this. The Witcher outfit in particular looks gorgeous. That's no moon, that's a space station. That's funny, Jake Smith. That's real funny. <laughs> Let's go! Onwards to the Horfrost Reach. Is there any different or exclusive thing to playing the PC version? Just uh, better visuals, performance, better load times, you know, all things technical. Nothing in terms of content, other than mods, of course. There's also mods. Damn, there's even, there's even better textures, like, in terms of the... Um, the detail of the snow on the costumes. I, since I, I haven't really played the Iceborne portion of it, I had just been playing World up until now. God damn, dude. I know that the YouTube video isn't going to do it justice, but friggin' hell, dude. The snow looks impressive. Let me 
Obtain the yeah. See, this is how fast you get uh, the master rank layered set. Now something. Oh sweet! I can. Can I have the Witcher outfit and have my layered armor? Oh dude, that's good. I didn't know. I, I usually don't use full armor sets. So, oh sweet! You guys actually get to see my character. This is um, this is my PC character. I made it a long time ago. The idea is that it looks as close to my wife as possible. My son looked at it and thought, oh, it looks like mommy. So I guess it's pretty close. And no, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna DDoS my wife. Fuck you guys. <laughs> Watching it at 1080p. Oh dude, you sh you gotta watch it at 440. So good. Okay, let's get some Oh wait, can I eat? I don't remember if I can eat or not. Do we have the canteen service already? No. No canteen service? Handler, you're fired. Oh no, here we go. We oh, you can't eat though. Well, what good are you if I if you can't eat? Anyway, let's get hot drink. Well, let's max out our stamina. I don't have almost any consumables on this character, by the way. That's cute, Rui. She looks upset. Exactly. It's just like real life. It's just the way she looks. <laughs> she lo Every time she looks at me, she looks upset. Probably with disappointment, but that's just the way these things go. <laughs> God damn, dude, Iceborne looks even better. Friggin' hell. Oh, that one had crystal burst. Thank you. Oh, I can't ride the popos yet? You have to do the quest first, probably. And by the way, guys, don't be surprised when you see me just scarfing down Chef's Choice platters because I don't even have the food yet. I don't have all of the food, so I just eat for stamina and health I forgot, where am I supposed to go now? Oh, it's right, it's actually right here, perfect. Lol, Rui, so bad, yeah, dude. <laughs> Did you lock it at 60? No, I put it unlimited, but I can't stream more than 60, so you guys won't be able to see if it if it's... Actually, I don't... Ha my monitor is 60 hertz, so it doesn't go above 60. So I didn't lock it at 60, but my hardware will not support more than 60. Where has the ultra wide monitor support been released with Iceborne? I don't have an ultra wide monitor, so I wouldn't know. I just hope that the the stream is doing justice to the visuals. That's what, like my main concern right now. Can you change the Xbox button to the PlayStation? Maybe with mods. Through the game itself, I don't think you can. Uh, this is running on a GTX 2060. And right now, everything from the visual side of things is maxed out at 1440p. Alright, Beatotus. Let's see how you fare against the Defender SNS.
Heart's broken already? <laughs> really? <laughs> Alright. I don't think he's gonna slam anything. I'm gonna try going for that wall. Oh! Nailed it! There's the mount. You gonna take me for a ride, Beatotus? Bam! Bam! Ooh, those crits, baby! They sound so good. One of the things that kind of sucks, by the way, is that the patch that I'm playing right now does not have the quality of life improvements for the sword and shield. The SNS mains that play on PS4 will know what I'm talking about, but basically, once they, they patch it up to parity with PS4, SNS mains will be able to wound by just doing this move right here. Wait, ah! It's a little bit tricky to do with Beatotus because it's such a, um, he's very low in terms of height. Damn it. It's very hard to land the Chlor you can come on. For starters, that one would have gone through because he interrupted me after I touched him. So that one would have gone through with the new patch. And not only that, but God! Such a pain. Okay, I, I can't do it. I'll wait until he falls down and I'll show you guys the move. Is this enough? Okay, see this right here? Just doing this combo of clutch clawing through the claw you can and then attacking? That would have instantly wounded. But because it's still not in this patch, you have to basically do a claw attack twice to perform wounding, which kind of sucks. Which I really do hope they patch it up to parity like day one, and it should be. They probably will put it on parity day one. See, now it's wounded. I should sharpen before I move on. What's your thought on the Safi Jiva Gunlance Y Challenge level 6? Um, it's good. I mean, all of the Safi Jiva weapons are good. They're the best weapons in the game. <laughs> That I s very low in terms of height as opposed to as opposed to any monster. Like, look how low, he, how close he is to the ground. It makes it very hard to land the combo that I was going for. I hate the constant debuffing he does too. Gotta love the coral gong. Oof. Sorry about that, Popo. Kind of slapped him around with a clutch claw a little bit. Oh, I got an idea. more. Perfect. Hit this tree. What? Oh, he wasn't facing the tree. Uh. We can probably go for another mount right about now. Oof!
Hey, Bombaru! No, don't turf war. I wanted to get some... I want to get some of his ammo. Come on, come on, get out of turf war. Get out of turf war. Get out of turf war animation. Come on. While they're in turf war animation, you can't clutch claw them. Actually, I don't know if you're allowed to clutch claw Bombar at all in this mission. Yeah, I think he's just gonna leave. No, got him. Give me those sweet thorn pods. Mm. Thank you. Thank you, come again. Okay, bro, I got a present for you. Don't move. Oh, no, wait, he's enraged. <laughs> and that's another break. Well, if you're going to be enraged, I'll just put these pods in a different way. Jesus, the abuse. Oh, he's not enraged anymore. Perfect. Go fast. The abuse we are witnessing right now. Ooh! Another part broken. And the mount. Did they buff the slingshot damage? Uh, I mean, I don't know if you've heard about the changes in Iceborne or not, but they didn't buff it. What happens is uh, you now have a different type of shot, which works in different ways for different weapons, but it's called the Slinger Burst. And with the Sword and Shield, I can basically turn it on and off at will, which just allows me to Slinger Burst anything I want. So that's why I was able to, like, Slinger Burst the crap out of the Thorn Pods into his head. But yeah, it makes the sword and shield be amazing with a slinger, in my opinion. One of the best weapons. And by the way, the reason that roar didn't flinch me, I have level 1 earplugs. Because I have no deco, so therefore I just put a... Stop running. Did I kill him with it? No. Oh, I just ran out of thing. Like, see, the slinger burst is basically um, shotgun mode for your slinger shots. Wow, we're at green sharpness right now. This thing has a lot of health. Or I just have really weak-ass gear right now. Uh, I should sharpen. We do have four hot drinks. Dude, you starting Iceborne again? No. I mean, I'm, st I'm restarting Iceborne right now, but I'm not going to do everything that I've done on PS4 on the PC side of things. Like, I might play it all the way to the end, uh, but if I do stream it, it'll probably be um, more so on Twitch, because we already have, like, a full playthrough of Iceborne uh, on the channel, and I don't think I would want to do more. Uh, I don't have Plunder Blade in this save yet, by the way. So you guys talking about plunder over there. Oosh. That's that. Beatotus is dead. Collect as many of these footprints as we can. And let's progress through the story a little bit more. How's this version looking? It's looking amazing. Problems of the base game? What were the problems of the base game? Like, I remember playing the base game... I had some performance issues, but that's because I was running it on like a 970, which is extremely outdated hardware. Uh, but even then, uh, it, it has better performance than the older version of PC, I think. Because at least that was the case for uh, PS4. 
So that's what I would expect. Exactly, like Sim Invader has said, the PC version runs great so long as you have the software for it. Oh wow, and with that, already an hour has gone through. Pfft. Here I was thinking about, oh man, am I actually going to reach the mission that they want me to? Pfft. No way. Like, they, they said that I can stream until Velcana, A Tale of Ice and Fire. I was like, there's no way I can reach there in like two hours. It's impossible. Well, actually, we haven't been streaming for one hour yet, but we're coming up on it. The snow deformation. Oh, yeah, dude. It looks amazing. And no scopes. I'm not going to do all of the grinding on PC. For starters on PC, I will only use one weapon, which is the sword and shield. God, the god rays. I wonder if this thing has ray tracing. I actually don't think so. Yes, I can show you the key bindings. I'm not going to play with the keyboard and mouse because my muscle memory is just so tied to the controller that I would have to use the controller, but I can show you the key bindings. Saliana never looked better. This just makes me kind of like wish, man, where's the PlayStation 5 so that I can have these visuals on my main character right now? Ryu went down as Geralt, but came out as a girl. My main, uh, the the character on my character on PC is a female. What do you think the people on airship would think? Man, some shit went down in Seliana. That's what they would think. Eliana. Yep. Alright, looks like I got a bunch of quests. Chamber was too far away to make out, but it's big news all the same, considering I was airborne at the time. Flying Wyvern. Oh, it's Velcana. They're talking about Velcana. Okay. Uh, this dude wants to give us the camera. I don't want to use the camera yet. Okay, guys. We got to hit the food first. I mean, you know. Let's see what it looks Look at Look at this food in HD. Well, not HD, but, you know, 1440p. Fresh meat of the bone. I actually haven't seen this animation on a female character. Oh man, I got a sharpshooter? That's great. Okay, so somebody wanted me to check on the, um... The bindings. So let's take a look at them. Uh, keyboard settings. Keyboard short. How do I even... I don't even know how... To, is it just keyboard settings? Okay. Uh, melee weapons, ranged weapons. Crouch, interact, open menu, surveyor, normal attack, guard, display, simultaneous action. What the fuck does this mean? Simultaneous... Oh, okay, never mind. 
play, browse items, use radial menu, keyboard shortcut. Where's Clutch Claw? Slinger aim, Q. So it's going to be Q, basically. Q is going to trigger your, your Clutch Claw. Because basically you have to aim to, to shoot the Clutch Claw. So it's just like you used to do for Slinger. And then um, the circle button, which would be, I don't know, the optional attack. It's this one. Uh, special fire claw. Here you go. So it's it's Q and right mouse click to fire the claw. In most weapons. Some weapons have something different where you have to press R3, which I actually don't know which button would be R3 on here. What does R3 even do? It just changes firing type. Display weapon on slinger or slinger aim. It's C. It's probably C to um, to aim in slinger mode. Uh, you know, I'm from PS4. I don't see too much of a difference in graphics on PC. They look better. Well, I mean, you know, it's like right now you're talking about a difference from 1080p to 1440p, which is not a massive leap. The gains that you get is that when you're looking at really fine details, so like, for instance, you're not going to see much difference at the distance that we're at right now, but if I go, like, over here, for starters, the texture on the back of this armor, I can already see massive difference, but, you know, I'm looking at the actual TV. You guys still have, like, video compression and whatnot on YouTube, so it's hard for you to appreciate the finer details, but, like, I can tell you right now, just the texture of this outfit at 1440p looks significantly better because it is using the high resolution texture pack but not only that i can show you what looks better if i zoom in so like if we go view mode like you see the detail on this texture right here this is something that you're not going to get on the ps4 the detailing on the textures here as you zoom in does not look as good as this on the ps4 like look PS4 is still my main platform. I'm not a fanboy of either platform. I play most of my stuff on PS4 because that's where I have friends that play games. Um, so that's the reason why I play on there. But it's like, this is a fact. This just looks way better. And if you look into the finer textures, particularly like even the face of the character, even though I don't have a comparison term for this specific character, but like you'll see that you know, just the finer details of the coating here, the details of the braiding on the on the little ropes on your thing. It's just like, it's all about the little details. And it makes a massive difference. Like, when the game's in motion, yeah, you're not going to notice that much difference. But when you stop and take a look at stuff, you'll notice that it is different. It is better. And you still have a uh, better frame rate as well as uh, faster load times. It's all about how much you value those things, you know? I mean, I wouldn't say much worse. They're worse. They're not as good. But I wouldn't say it looks terrible on PS4. Do I have to do all these quests? No, I just need to go on an expedition. Like, all of this is just like introducing you to the stuff that's in here. So we can just go to an expedition and start, start doing stuff. Yeah, naturally, one of the biggest things about PC is going to be the mods, for sure. Playing this story mode alone is the hardest shit I've done. Really? I didn't think the story was that hard. Urkan, how do you feel about the Safi weapons? <sighs> I should do like its own video talking about that topic, but basically let's just say I'm of two minds, right? Because you guys know that one of my favorite things in Monster Hunter World is doing builds. Like I love doing different builds and exploring different playstyles. That's always been my thing in most of the games that I end up dedicating uh, a significant amount of time to. This goes all the way back to like Diablo 2, 
Like, I loved Diablo 2 because I would do all of these different builds for the characters available in there, and I always had a ton of fun. Uh, the game that uh, followed Diablo 2 for me with Scratch That Itch was um, Dark Souls. I did multiple runs of Dark Souls to explore different builds, different play styles, and all of that stuff, right? And so the game that naturally followed that is Monster Hunter because Monster Hunter makes it much easier to do a bunch of different builds. You don't have to start the game from scratch every time you do it. So that's amazing. So that's why it's my favorite game, right? So doing builds, I love doing them. And therefore, Safi, the Safi weapons, considering the amount of variety that they add to the game, I fucking love it. I think it's amazing that I can customize a weapon in nth different ways, even if they're not all meta, because it's not about the meta. It's about experiencing different playstyles. That's always what it's been about to me. So from that aspect, I love it. I think it's amazing. But then I also hate it because like some of you pointed out in chat, it makes every it, it basically makes every other weapon obsolete. Like there's no reason for you to play any weapon that's not a Safi weapon. Like I, I've heard somebody say that uh, the it was probably one of you guys in chat right now that the meta thing for frost charge blades is still the Beatotis charge blade but it's like it's one weapon that's the only weapon so far that I've heard that's still meta but like when you're talking about Safi weapons they're just flat out more powerful than anything else in the game literally anything else in the game for 99% of circumstances so you know in a way, it's great because you get to do all these crazy builds and experiment with different stats. But in another way, it severely limits your weapon selection. So, you know. <laughs> I love your wife, Wolf. Tell her to marry me. <laughs> nah, dude. Sorry. She's taken. Apparently, there's an update supposedly coming out Tuesday that's supposed to change Endgame a bit. I don't know. We'll see. There's been a lot of rumors. Uh, I don't exactly remember what I'm supposed to do at this part. Oh, okay, I have to go to her and now Bombar is going to come out and I have to hunt one. Yeah, there's the trees. I want to see that Bambaru face in glorious PC Master Race visuals. Those textures didn't load right, did they? God damn it, 2060. Should have had a better GPU. Crap. I messed up real bad just there. It's okay, we can make up for it. Ow. The reason I'm doing the clutch claw grabs is because I'm practicing that into my muscle memory. Because eventually that is once the PC gets patched up, that'll be the best way to do it. I think monsters should hit you during uh, Turf Wars. It's a little bit overpowered that I can just sit here and whack away with Zero risk. Ooh. 
but I should also be able to clutch claw them if that was the case. Like just straight up rock steady clutch claw in the middle of a turf war. <laughs> Imagine that. You need eight gigabytes of VRAM. Yeah, I know. I, I, I don't know if it shows in here, but I can show you guys that I'm running way above my VRAM. Uh, let me see if it shows. Yeah, see? <laughs> VRAM usage 7.05 out of 5.84. Whoops. It is what it is, but I am running the friggin' high res texture pack. That might be why that texture didn't load properly. Like I said, my GPU is uh, not that great. Don't you dare- Oh my god, okay. You're not gonna let me have the thorn pods? Listen, I want the thorn pods. Can we make a deal? Can we trade? Okay, you don't want to give me the thorn pods. Alright. Now you're gonna slap me with your ass. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough, I deserve that. But you're not gonna throw that goddamn rock at me, dude. It's just not happening. Now give me those goddamn thorn pods! Ya prick. Thank you. And now let me tell you what I'm doing with them. One more. Shoot, he enraged. Excuse me. That's good. <laughs> What's up? What's happening, brother? Ah, you like that shit? Gotta love thorn pods, dude. And he's falling asleep from the bond. Perfect. Perfect. Can I slam him into that? I certainly hope I can. Crap, please, one more, please, one more. No. Yes, 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 yes. Do it, do it, do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. Yes! Right there. Right in the kisser. Ooh. Tasty. How about that? Don't you guys see that reversal right there? Excuse me, sir. Yeet! Yeet! No hurling boulders! That's cheating! Can't hurl, hurl boulders. Okay, we should go for a mount now. He's gotta be primed for a mount. Oh! Right on the tip of the horn! Crap, I hate this move. They always get me with this move. The Brute Wyverns, they all get me with that move. I'm not sure if that's the same for you guys, but that particular little jumping attack they do, all the Brute Wyverns get me with that. I'll take another thorn pod. Kind of want Slinger Sniper in my SNS sets now that I think about it. I hope a patch for PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X for better graphics and frame rate. I mean, it shouldn't be too hard. If they already have a high resolution texture pack, it should be just like apply that, considering that th that hardware is supposed to support 4K 60. You know, it's basically just like just apply the patch. It's just a matter of whether or not people have enough hard drive space in their consoles to install the high-resolution patch.
That poor Beatonis has nothing to do with this, and he's just getting abused. Should I chop the tail? I'm gonna try to. No! I don't want you, Beatonis. Go away. But I will take this piercing pot off you. Stop, 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 stop. No, no, no! I don't want you. Is he limping? No, he's not limping yet. The CPU is the bottleneck in consoles. Uh, I don't think it's just the CPU. I don't think it's as simple as that. But yes, the CPU... Well, I mean, yes, CPU is the bottleneck. What I mean is there will be other factors in next gen besides the CPU. Oh my god. He just took that boulder like a champ. Taking it like a champ. Just wound that. There's another one here. What are you doing? I need to get him in the ground to really deal damage to the tail. <clears throat> Come closer, Bambaro. Bambaro, Bambaro! Dude, if I'm able to get a clean shot on his head... <clears throat> Told you. What did I tell you? Problem here is that I wasn't in a good position. Yeah, he's like... He's like all wedged up. <clears throat> Doesn't make for a good tail damage situation. Okay, he's out of ammo. Okay, that's much better. <clears throat> Not enough. I think if I spam it, I should be able to get it, though. I'm addicted to chopping tails, by the way, guys. For those of you that still don't know. I'm gonna get that ass! I'm gonna get that ass! I need to bring it down? I wonder if I can get a KO if I spam, um, shield slam. Let me just add out here for a little bit. Sharpen up back to white. No dice. He's about to kill me, actually. Oh, don't do it! Don't do it! Oh, goddamn, not the wolves! Oh my god. I'm so lucky he was targeting the Palico. Oof. What the hell? Drink. Oh, that poor Popo just ate that boulder. And I still didn't get the sharpen. He seems a little bit tired, though. Tired enough to let me sharpen. Perfect. Wounded. Come on. Come off. Oh, dude, he's in a perfect position. But there's no ammo. Wait, is that a rock? Sweet. Don't move. Don't move, Bambaru. Just don't move. No, 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 no. One more. Just give me one more. Thank you. And boom. Oh, what? I felt No, I ran out of stamina! It would have been so perfect! Oh, well. 
I can still try to do it, but it'll be hard. Let's try it anyway. Oh, I did it! No, 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 fall, 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 come on! Yes! <laughs> oh, man! Can I get up, please? Come on, let me get up. Let me capitalize on this. Damn it. He already got up, too. Oh, he's gonna be real mad now. Burkhan thinks your videos I become a charge blade and a gun lance main. Then have a great time with both. Okay, so now it's time for me to convert you to the glory of the sword and shield. I've been going through a sword and shield phase recently. Just having so much fun with it. I gotta do my Safi sword and shield builds as well. It's just the sword and shield is so versatile. I just love it. I'm gonna try to finish on the tail. Oh, never mind. Damn it, every time I get openings on the tail, it's always in a bad damn spot. Getting S and S tail chops is a bit of a pain. Come on, Bombard, give me that ass! You're gonna give me that ass, dude. Come back here. Gonna get another mountain, I'm gonna finish on the tail. Give it here. That staggered him a little bit. Stop taking the tail away from me. Whoops. Just give it up! <laughs> oh my god! Come back! Baby, come back. You can blame it all on me. Where's he going? Okay, that's the way to his cave. Oh, no! Well, that's that. We killed it. Is it wrong to say I can't figure out the SNS? No, it's not wrong to say you can't figure it out. I think it's wrong for a lot of people to assume they know everything about the SNS because it's considered to be a beginner-friendly weapon. Because while it is a beginner-friendly weapon, it is an extremely complex weapon and very versatile. Like, there's just so many different things you can do with the SNS. I love it. Dragon Core Ore. He's going to die before he gives that tail to you. He did. You could say it was pretty attached to his tail. <laughs> so for all of you um, PC players out there that are watching this stream right now, do you think that the, the wait has been worth it with the uh, visual improvements, the loading times, all of that jazz that we've seen so far? What do you guys think? I'm just curious because uh, to me, like I said, I have 2,000... I don't even know how many, how many, what the smaller numbers are at this point. I have over 2,000 hours on PS4, so I'm not, I'm not going to make the switch to PC, right? I have all of my time invested there. I will play the PC every now and then, but I'm not making a switch. But for all of you, those of you out there that have held off and that are waiting, is it worth it? I'm totally interested in getting this for PC. Why are you playing today? Uh, because it took me two days to get through Monster Hunter World to be able to show you guys the Iceborne footage. I hope they optimized performance. Um, they definitely did for PS4, and I'm pretty sure they did for PSC as well. 
It's just I haven't really played PC all that much to notice it. You can really see it on the on the characters' faces right now. The um the visual upgrade. Rokan, I'm sure there's some grinding methods to catch you up on PC. I can't. I can't do it. This is in Monster Hunter language. Wait, don't they have cross-platform saving? They do not. And um, the whole thing about you guys saying, oh, there's other methods to, you know, get caught up on PC. It's like the moment I... Because, like, I've, I've done stuff like that in the past, like, a long, long time ago. But the moment I cheat anything in a game, I instantly lose all interest. It, it's like that. The moment, There's just some barrier in my brain that the moment I cross over to that side of things, where I'm just like, oh, I can ex-edit this save file and do these things to make life a little bit easier. It's like my brain's like, well, I, pff, fuck this. It's dead. It's over. It's that simple. That's why I've never done save edit on PS4. That's why I've never done any of that stuff. And I'm not going to start doing it now. It's just it's just a very quirky thing about me. The moment I take that step, it's over. <laughs> and yes, I, I have an early copy for those of you that uh, came in a little bit later. Uh, this was sent to me by Capcom so that I could show you guys what the game is looking like on PC. Yeah, the teal, just for the loading times, I say it was worth the wait. Add to that, visual improvements. A ton of PC games to spend playing while waiting. Yeah. Like, you guys know me, those of you that are new here that are checking this for the first time, like, I wished that everybody could have played at the same time. Like, I even said, I would have preferred them to have delayed world and release simultaneously with the PC. I would have preferred that. And then, at this point, we would all be playing Iceborne together. Because it would just be better for the community as a whole. And even for me as a content creator, I wouldn't have to like tiptoe around making titles and thumbnails and shit. Because I'm very conscientious about spoiling stuff for other people. I hate doing it. So, yeah. I would have preferred everybody just playing at the same time. Uh, Doc's World, this isn't Japanese, this is Monster Hunter speak, but you can do Japanese as well. There is Japanese audio. And there, there's actually multiple languages audio. I can show it to you guys considering that there's almost like no, no load times. I can just show you guys all of the options. Since the loading is, is just so fast, it doesn't matter. Just go to the main menu, come back. Uh, let me see here. Do, 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 do. Wait, it's not here? Oh, it's language. So, there's Marsana language, Japanese, English, French, Italian, Deutsch, and Spanish. Actually, let's swap to Japanese. I've never heard Japanese. Never heard the Japanese voice acting. I've always heard Monster Hunter speak. English and Monster Hunter speak. That title screen looks cool. Yeah, that's the Iceborne title screen. How do you feel about safe scumming? Okay, I'll be honest. I'll be honest there. With the Safi Jiva stuff, 
I've done a little bit of safe scumming here there, but only the Safi Jiva stuff because, yeah, it's a little bit RNG. And sometimes with Safi Jiva, if you don't safe scum, you can get yourself to a point where like you've spent, let's say you've spent an entire afternoon hunting and then you use all of the materials in one weapon and you can use all of those materials and not get anything that you want. And when I got to that, I was like, no. <laughs> That's not happening. So I did save scum a little bit on on Safi. So yeah. Hey stranger, where you been hiding? Uh I actually took a little bit of a break uh near Christmas from creating content, but now I'm back. Uh, I haven't really been live streaming. I do, I do most of my live streaming on Twitch because Live streaming too much on a, on your YouTube channel actually has negative impact, which is dumb. That's just the way YouTube kind of works, so I don't really have a choice there. But, yeah. The part in the, Oh, we're supposed to do another expedition? Sure. I'll just eat there, and we'll see the animation for eating in Hoarfrost. Oh. Basically, did you play XCOM? Then you have safe scum. No, I, I didn't play XCOM. That sounds like exploiting to me, though. It, it 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 is. It is, you know? But at the end of the day, I kind of feel like there should be a system in the game. I mean, there's also a reason why they don't save the game every time you upgrade your weapons. I think in a lot of ways, that is actually a feature that Capcom kind of, like, predicted. And they're like, yeah, this, this system... It's a cool system, but it's going to suck if somebody spends, like, an entire afternoon hunting and then burn all of their materials into one weapon and not get anything out of it. So, you know, it is what it is. But that, that particular thing doesn't bother me as much. J just for Safi. That's the only time I've ever done that. I haven't done the stuff that some people have done of, like, uploading your safe to the cloud and then melding a bunch of decos and then coming back and, you know, doing it again and selecting only the decos that you... That I haven't done. But the Safi stuff, yes, I did it. Japanese definitely sounds much better than Monster Hunter language, I'll tell you that right now. <laughs> What the fuck? PC has no load times? Yeah, if you have an SSD. Yeah. But here's the thing. You can get significant... I don't know how low it can get because I haven't tested this. But you can put an SSD on your PS4. If that's the only thing that's really bothering you about it, you can get that. I don't know what's, what's the difference between that and PC, though. I have a friend of mine that bought one to play Uncharted 4 and he was super happy about it. Yeah, Azure Kite, that's exactly what Saves Coming is. When to start streaming on Mixer? I don't, I don't... I'll be honest, when it comes to all of the streaming platforms, Mixer is the one that sounds the most appealing to me, but quite simply, it doesn't have a big enough community, which means that everybody streaming on Mixer has to stream whatever is the, on the, whatever is the popular directory. And that's a problem for me because I don't play Fortnite or Apex or any of these other Battle Royale games because I don't like them. I'm not saying they're bad, I just don't like them. It's not my kind of thing. So if you don't want to stream that and if you want to stream something a little bit more niche like Monster Hunter, quite simply you're not going to get as many eyeballs on your stream. The closest thing that you can get to getting enough eyeballs is um, Twitch. But even on Twitch, it's mostly about, you know, uh, doing the main the main video games unless you have an established audience. Japanese, it's not Chinese, or is it Chinese? No. Let me see. No, this is definitely. This is definitely Japanese. Yeah, mine is a little bit faster than the stock hard drive because I have a hybrid uh, drive on my PS4. 
just a little bit faster, but not by much. I definitely agree, Jake Smith. You are 100% correct. And this is why tonight, by the way, after we do this stream, which is... Uh, how long have we been going for? I need to check on here. Wait, this new dashboard does not tell me how long the stream's been going for? Really, YouTube? Really? Oh my god, YouTube. The new live streaming dashboard on YouTube has so many things does not let me know how long I've been streaming for. That's great. Thanks. That's real useful. <laughs> I can't even do like what the fuck. Like what are you doing right now YouTube? What is wrong with you? I'm trying to use the the new dashboard and it quite simply doesn't tell me how long I've been live, which is actually important for embargo reasons. Kind of important, YouTube. 71 minutes. Thank you. Thank you, guys. But I need to be able to see it myself. It's just so dumb. I got to go back to creator classic. This is so dumb. Uh, I don't remember which one we're fighting now. I think it might be... The new Toby. I hope it's not the new Toby. New Toby is so annoying. He's like one of my most feared monsters in Iceborne is new Toby. Huh. I never paid that much attention to the detail of the frozen fish. I think I have seen them, but... The glass-like ice on PC, the textures are just way better. Again, this is something that's not going to translate very well to the YouTube video. Unless I like, if I stand still, the rendering will improve it and you guys will be able to see what I'm talking about. So like this, this should give you a pretty clear picture of what I'm talking about. And if I look directly down, there's too much reflection looking directly down. But if I look at it like this, you can probably see it too. Did you ever finish Witcher 3, Rurikon? No. I have a very hard time getting into the combat of uh, Witcher. Oh god, it is the new Toby. My first instinct is like, get a temporal mantle. But then I realize, I don't have a temporal mantle. How can you play Iceborne on PC? It's not released. Uh, I have an early copy. Old man gets exposed on stream by Toby. Yep. By the way, guys, if you're enjoying the live stream, make sure to hit that like button because you're not going to like what happens next. I'm going to be overly defensive. I didn't mean to actually do that. I thought that was the Vitality Mantle. By the way, earlier today, 
I chopped the tail with uh, oh, 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 Palico MV fucking P. Did you guys see that? He gonged that Viper Toby right out of the air. What a boss. I know what you want to do. I know you want me. You want to get me bad, but I don't want you. Oh crap! Oh, I still haven't updated my wet my wheel. There we go. That's what I've been wanting to do. It's not going to be easy to slam this puppy now. Turn around. Turn this way. And he got me. Oh, he's falling asleep. Sweet. Good job, Palico. That makes it considerably easier. Slam! Not sure if you guys saw the damage on that. That was pretty disgusting. Dang that right now I don't have max health because I didn't eat. I thought I was gonna be able to eat in Horfrost. Yep, I knew I was gonna get screwed when I grabbed that. Okay, let's go for a mount. Can you drop these? I don't think you can. I very rarely fight in this area. Yeah, the um, the quality of life stuff for SNS has not been patched into PC yet. I talked about this at the start of the stream. But uh, I'm pretty sure they're going to patch it like they won. Because, I mean, it doesn't make sense for them. Like, holding back events is one thing. Holding back, you know, uh, balance patches, I just don't think it would make sense. So I'm pretty sure that, like, day one, they'll just apply a patch. Even on the original uh, Iceborne release on PS4, um, we didn't have all of the quality of life stuff that was in one of the betas. Oh, crap. I didn't notice he was enraged. Uh, ooh, gotta be careful with that. Good job, Palico. I want that piercing pod, because the torch pods don't pack any punch. Viper Toby Kadachi dot EXE has stopped working. I love the stuff that they did with the mounting music, by the way. I'm not sure how many people noticed it, 
But like, it starts emphasizing only one instrument whenever you mount a monster. Yeah, that weakness exploit, baby. Ow. Okay, we got two more herbal medicines. Getting really close. Because this venom is very toxic. God damn it, I was blocking that. Oh, come on. I was clutching the head. Yep, I'm screwed. I'm just going to be poisoned. Yeah, I know. Problem is, I don't have any antidotes. Is this, uh... Oh, Toad's tool is not gonna help me. Yep, there it is. I hate him. I hate him! Got the new SNS moveset? Yes. I have the new SNS moveset. I hate this monster so friggin' much. I think it was the first card I had in um, in the console as well. Pretty sure. I should be able to eat now, though. Again, guys, I know that this is gonna frustrate some of you. Chef's platter. <laughs> we don't have all of the food ingredients. Wow, some of the textures just don't load because of the, the VRAM. <clears throat> Again, this whole texture is not loading stuff. For those of you that are not... That were not around when I showed it. This is because... My GPU is very limited. You can see our VRAM usage right there. That's why sometimes textures don't load. I wish I had better hardware to show you guys, but I don't play that many games on PC, so not that much reason to upgrade. <laughs> so are all the layered, um, low rank layered just craftable? Uh, not Oh, uh, actually? Of the low rank, yes. I think all of the low rank are. Not all of the high rank yet. I think I can show you guys once I get back to town. I'm not sure if it shows instantly. Actually, it might not be available in this version of the game yet. Because I think that was something that came in a later patch, wasn't it? The, um, the armor stuff. I can show you guys once we get back to base. After I die to this uh, Toby Kodachi about 10 more times. Then I can show you guys. <laughs> Please explain how SNS and SB? What's SB? Have a move where you can soften hide in one move. You mean dual blades? Uh, okay, blind vision. The way it works is like this. So if you do the usual move, which is you clutch claw into a monster, and then you do your attack... Uh, you'll need to do two of those to soften. But, uh, once they implement the quality of life patch that they've already done for consoles, all you have to do is do the clutch claw uppercut. So this. And if you do this, and you follow this with uh, an attack, that will instantly wound, because essentially the claw attack counts as the first thing. So this counts as your first hit for wounding, which means all you gotta do is do another attack and you're done. Uh, the dual blades have a different thing, which is, you know how they have the one move where they kind of, like, circle around? Like, they have one where they just, like, spin around with the dual blades. You do that twice, and then you press L2, and he does it. Like, I can, I can show you guys once we get back to camp. 
Let me just get this Viper Toby, and then I'll show you. But after you, it's the same thing, basically. It's got a clutch claw uh, mechanic that allows you to grab, and the clutch claw counts as the first hit of the wound. So you can wound in one hit as well for both of them. Work on how big was the download. I believe the entirety of the game right now is about 77 gigs with the high-res pack. But I'm not sure. I need to check. Aw, oh, damn it. Seriously, I'm already poisoned again. Okay. That's how cheap I am. I don't even have bombs right now. Goddamn rat. He's basically a rat. He's a little rodent. This goddamn flying squirrel. I'm gonna put your ass to sleep again. Oh, he's tired. That Fulgore is going to have his way with you. not enraged. Ooh, there's a paratoad. What is this? Status cave? I'd do it if I had... Oh, I do have one. Gong, gong, gong! Perfect. No! Got him! Boosh! Beautiful! Damn, my palico's good. Better than me. Done deal. Poof. That was not easy. What weapons are you using? Uh, just sword and shield. On PC, I will always use sword and shield. Because of the versatility. I don't need to commit to, like, decorations or anything like that. I can just adapt to whatever comes my way. God, I hate these friggin' things.
I'm going to carve you too, Vestpoint. All right. Now that we have that, uh, you guys wanted me to show you the, the dual blades thing. This looked better than when you fought him on the PS4. Well, I mean... You know, I've been playing about almost a thousand hours of Iceborne. You'd figure I'd get a little bit better. <laughs> Not much, but just a little bit. Okay, uh, where are... Do I have any duels in here? I should have one pair. Okay. So, the, the same move for the Clutch Claw thing to do it in one go is... Do I need to build it up first? I probably do. Or no. No, no, never mind. It's this one. So basically you do two circle attacks. Three circle attacks, actually. And then you press L2. See? And it does this. And this will clutch onto the monster, and it will count as the first hit of your um, wounding combo. And then you just do the regular attack, and you'll wound. Just like I do with the Chlor you can it's it's just much easier to do with the dual blades in my opinion because you don't need to like do the jump upwards animation which is not particularly easy to pull off on certain monsters which is why usually those of you that watch like um the stuff that i do on twitch you'll a lot of times see kegrin just like repeat that move non-stop No problem, Blind Vision. <clears throat> this is only for Sword and Shield and Dual Blades, though. No other weapon got this treatment that I'm aware of. So, Gun Lances, Long Swords... And I don't know which other weapons still have to hit twice to wound. <laughs> Gavadu Dual Blades is slower but easier to hit. Uh, sword and Shield is faster but harder to hit. So, you know. こんなもの見たことがないよ。この人たちと。あの人は調査団が派遣されるずっと前に新大陸を目指した冒険家がいたの。いつかは見つけられると思っていたけど、えっと。大量のモンスターが騒いでいる。石を見つけた。特殊な環境下で生存。調べる。これ以上は破れているわね。ADM たちの異常な構造と、やっぱ今の状況はこのメモと似ていますね。その石を調べる必要がありそうね。おい。探しそうだあんたたち。The Japanese voice acting is so good, though. I'm not saying that the English one is bad, but the Japanese voice acting is so much better. As someone that always plays these games on English because it's easier to stream if you do it in English. Damn. のことを知りたいんでしょ私もよ。知りたいことから逃げられない。はい。でも真実
No! I don't want the bad handler. She's the bad handler. I want the good one. Our handler is the best. Our handler is most definitely the best. By a long shot. <laughs> Don't go! Come back! <laughs> no, our handler is the good handler. Y'all are wrong. You guys are all wrong. Balico level 20. Wow, we're master rank 4 already. This is actually reasonably fast. よく急ぎ戻ってくれた。君たちを召喚した理由だが。どうした？三代目クイシンボウの姿が見えないようです。彼女は現在別件の調査に取り掛かっています。この人。なるほど。では本題に入る。Urukan, I'm sorry I keep asking you, but since you know SNS well, I want some recommendations on what to start with since I really want to try it. Uh, are you playing on PS4 or are you going to start playing on PC when it comes out? So you're on PS4. Okay, I mean, naturally the best one to start with is Safi Jiva, if you have access to Safi. So go Blast to get started. But eventually if you really want to get, you know, if you really want to dedicate yourself to it, uh, I'm going to start dedicating myself to it. Um, I just don't have the materials to yet. But um, the idea is to make one elemental, uh, one of each elemental Safi sword and shields. That's the idea. Okay, now we just have to take regular quests. Jesus. Oh wait, we actually have them assigned, right? Okay, no time for naps and play both ends. Play both ends? How's that supposed to mean? Sadly, I don't have Dracolite because I don't play that often. Well, I mean, if you don't have Dracolite, just go for the Blast. Go for the Blast Sword and Shield. It's the best all around. And if you want to have an option... You know, just in case everybody in your party is using Blast, then go for Venom. So you get Blast and Venom, and then you'll have uh, two choices that you can do. You can also go for maybe the Para, but I, I, I can't speak to Para or Sleep, because I haven't played with those weapons yet, so I can't tell you whether or not they're good. Running low on things! Oh, if you want one of the regular ones, then Nergigante is the better one. If you want something that's not Safi, then you got Nergigante and you have uh, Gold Rathian. Those two are good. And if you want to go the elemental route, uh, I believe I was using... What was I using for ice? I think I was using Legiana? No, no. I, I ended up using... Valkana's for ice because of the sharpness. So I used Valkana for ice, uh, Rathalos for fire, because I, I like having a good amount of raw, even on my elemental builds. So I used um, Rathalos for fire, Valkana for ice, 
Uh, I forget what I used for water. Uh, Namiel for water. Then what else we got? We have ice, fire, water. Uh, for lightning, I used Zenogre. Which one am I missing? Well, I'm always missing one. Dragon. For dragon, uh, for dragon, it was Stygian. Oh wow, the additional details on the eyeballs. I need to get better at um, rolling roars. That's one of the things that I definitely got to work on. After all this time, I have no excuses. Oh, he's got slinger thorns. Yeet! No, don't do it! You son of a bitch! God damn you, TT. How dare you? I'm gonna collect this. Ah, uh, yes, I am playing with controller. Muscle memory. I have too much muscle memory from playing uh, Monster Hunter with a controller. I'll never be able to play it with a keyboard. I mean, I could, but it's like it would be a whole lot of effort for nothing. Oh, wow. I'm not sure if it translates. Again, it's one of those things that probably doesn't translate as well as I would like to on video, but it looks really good. The uh, In this particular case, the little detail I noticed was Tsitsi's uh, membrane. Oh, shoot. Not sure if I can block. Okay, I can. Yeet! We're about to have one mean headache. I love the control that you get with Sword and Shield. I almost feel like... I don't know how many of you guys played Magic the Gathering, but you had like five colors, right, that you can play, and each of them kind of represents a specific play style. I'd have to say, if I was to give one of the colors to the Sword and Shield, it would definitely be Control Blue. Because the amount of control you get with this weapon is redonkulous. Right in the face. Okay, this is getting real dangerous. Eesh! That was pretty close. I mean, we are still using uh, Masa Hunter World Armor. Unupgraded Masa Hunter World Armor at that. God damn, that hurts! Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Shh. 
shit, no! I'd already loaded it. Which way did he go, George? Which way did he go? But see, this is the interesting thing about when people started talking about how, oh, it's only going to be one area for Monster Hunter World Iceborne? The game is going to have, like, no longevity whatsoever. But then the game kind of has you revisiting these old areas with new monsters and new interesting things happen. So, yeah. Every monster has a body movement that indicates when to jump or when you can or you can jump when the screen shakes. Screen shakes? I never noticed the screen shakes before the roar. I know about the body movements, but it's just each monster has one and memorizing all of those. Oof. I knew that one was coming. Hey, hey. What's the best way to spawn Tempered Namiel in the Guiding Lands? There is no best way, it's just hunt there. Hunt there, collect tracks there, and be lucky. There's no way to just like reliably spawn a monster. Should I chop the tail? I should. I love how my palica just KO'd it. Okay, tail is wounded. Wait, we already burned all of his ammo? We did. I hate the fact that I still have to draw ammo in order to wound. Like, I wish I could wound without drawing ammo. That one was so bad. I fucked up so bad right there. No! Good god, that would have messed me up. Right now, I'm just hitting him like that to maintain the wounding. I want to have to redo the work I've already done. Wait, did it not maintain? It didn't. Shoot. God damn it. Why am I so addicted to chopping tails? Like, there must be... I probably am on, on a list somewhere as like someone that has a fetish about chopping monster tails or something. It must be a website. It's like hunters with a fetish about chopping tails and my name's like right in the top of it. Big bold letters. Gotta go, Rickon. This was really fun. Help me get rid of my boredom. Thank you. You're quite welcome, dude. Glad you enjoyed the stream. Work on the Z expansion run as good as the base game on PC? Uh, in my opinion, better. They did some performance improvements. Okay, there it is. No, wait, I have an idea. Quick, 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 go! Perfect.
Can you go on his tail? You can! I'm gonna finish on the tail, see if I can deal enough damage. I think the last hit of the SNS finish can actually chop tails, but I'm not sure. The first two can't, because those are definitely slamming, but this one... This one should definitely be able to. Oh great, we get to do it twice? There's the tail chop. Coral Puke Puke, that Yegzia, stop working. Urkan, did you tell him about the Odogger on tail chop you did earlier while prepping? I think I did. I'm not 100% sure, but guys, earlier today I did something that I I wasn't aware was possible, which is I chopped a doggo's tail with a piercing pod sling burst. I was not aware that piercing pods could chop tails to begin with. I mean, the slinger burst does a ton of damage, so... If I had known that piercing pods can chop tails, it wouldn't have surprised me. But I was just not aware that you could chop tails with a pod. So what is the monster total now? Interesting, I haven't counted them yet. Does anybody have the total monster count in PS4 right now? Including Safi? Because that's all stuff that everybody's going to get. I know I counted them at the time. Right now I don't. Did I get him? No. He ran away. He was too fast. Too furious. Too fast. Too furious. 66, according to Kegarin. Uh Bear in mind that this probably also includes um, the variants and subspecies. So, like, we are counting Anjanath and Fulgur Anjanath as two monsters. Which, you know, some people just think it's reskins and they're like, oh, that doesn't count. But I just want to make it clear the type of counting that we're doing so that everybody understands. Oh, he's going to come down. Okay. I wonder if he's going to go to sleep if I run away. Perfect, because I, I see some bright moss that I can use right there. I'm going to slam his ass into the dirt. To the dirt! That's one of the things I really like about the Sword and Shield, is that between the Slinger Burst, between the, um, the shots and all that, I feel like the Sword and Shield feels friggin' fantastic right now. Really? Really, game? Come on. I was giving you a compliment, man. Why are you gonna do me like this? See, this is one of the this is one of the things about the clutch claw that is very frustrating to a lot of us. And that is that sometimes you point blank aim at something, like right there, I was point blank aiming at his face. I ended up in a wing. There's been times where I point blank aimed at a monster's face, ended up in the tail. 
I've also went through monsters, so I would start aiming on the left side and I would end up on the right side. So yeah, the Clutch Claw, sometimes not the most accurate of tools. You guys know I once made a build on PS4 for KO Sword and Shield? Didn't work out so well. It was not very good. <laughs> you were sacrificing too much damage for not enough KO, and it would only buff a certain part of the moveset. Personally, I prefer Moss Hunter Gen U, Sword and Shield, and Moss Hunter World of Fuel Suit Slippery. Dude. Why you gotta bring up Striker SNS? Why you gotta bring that up? Man, I kid you not, just even yesterday, I was working on my wish list uh, of SNSs that I wanna craft in, in Gen U. I kid you not, just yesterday. I wanna, I wanna do the Deviants. I haven't played Gen U in a while, but I wanna do all of the Deviants so that I can craft all of the Deviant Sword and Shields to buff how fast I can get the SP Arts. I want to get SP Extender, which I'm not even sure if it's viable or if it's fun, but I want to get that on top of having one of the Deviant weapons uh, for every uh, element. And then I want to play that with Striker SNS. Like, damn, dude! That sounds like a frack ton of fun! And I know I'm, sometimes I try to curse a little bit less just so that the YouTube algorithm doesn't mark my video as mature, you know, alongside pornographic material, which is usually what the YouTube algorithm does nowadays. <sighs> Interesting enough, it's, fi it's, uh, it's fine for Stephen Colbert, Colbert to say on YouTube that somebody is somebody else's cock holster, and, and that's okay. That's just marked as, uh, what was it? It wasn't even T for Teen, it was... Parental guidance, so like 13 plus. And I was like, oh, all right. So if I say fuck in a video, that's like instantly mature rating, adults only. But somebody talks about cock holsters, that's perfectly fine, parental guidance only. And I was like, okay, well, I mean, you know, what's fair is fair, right? Oh man, I wish I had sleep resistance. I don't think I do though. I might actually cart in this mission if I don't have sleep resistance. Let me see here. Set decos. Uh, I think I have like one. Yeah, I have one pep. One pep. <laughs> Reduces the duration of sleep by 30%. Nah, not going to do that. As a matter of fact, I want to get another Meowster's Jewel. Because I think I have another Meowster, right? Yeah, I do. Boom. Two Meowster Jewels. Rurikon, do you think the next Moss Hunter game will take from World? Or will it go back to the... To the old ways. Uh, I think the next Monster Hunter game is going to be different. It's probably going to take a little bit of both. It's going to take some stuff from Gen U and some stuff from World. And I suspect it's probably going to be a Switch exclusive, but I'm not sure. I suspect. Again, there's no certainties. They, they haven't made any official announcements. They gave everybody that little teaser that one time in their... Their thank you messages of the... Was it the first anniversary? Actually, you know what makes sense? If they would announce it during the the second anniversary of World, now that I think about it, imagine receiving news of the next Monster Hunter game on the second anniversary of Monster Hunter World. That'd be freaking sweet. But I definitely think that Monster Hunter World is the best way they've ever handled a Monster Hunter release. Although a big portion of that is just because A, it released simultaneously and I could do content for it. It was amazing. Had a blast. I mean, simultaneously, still not for everybody. I'm very sorry. I understand the frustration. You know, I actually found it interesting because uh, every now and then you hear the, the occasional, you know, PC exclusive player. I'm not trying to single anybody out. I'm not trying to say someone's bad or someone's evil, whatever. But every now and then I remember hearing some people when I when I talked about oh man um 
what was it? Damn it, I kind of lost my train of thought. Sometimes you would hear them say, you console guys have it so easy, you have no idea what it's like to have to wait for the game for six months, like they did for Moss Hunter World. And I remember looking at those takes, and I, I wouldn't directly reply, but I would think to myself, actually, I know exactly what that's like. We had it. Oh, wow, the water. I haven't paid attention to the water yet. Fucking hell. I mean, this is stuff that most PC gamers have seen, though. It's just this is the first time that I'm paying attention to the water at 1440 with the improved textures. It looks beautiful. But as I was saying, it's like... Uh, Moss Honor console gamers have been waiting sometimes more than a year for uh, Moss Honor releases, so we know exactly what it's like to have to wait. <laughs> Nightshade is my greatest enemy, even with sleep resistance? Nah. Nightshade's not so bad. He does have quite a few uh, high damage moves. He is dangerous. I wouldn't say he's that bad. I am picking up materials because I will need them. Because, you know, even though I'm not crafting anything yet, because most of my weapons are probably still up to snuff at this point in the game. Oh, that's right. The stuff is up there, so I can't get it. Never mind. Meh. Meh. Switch exclusive if they want to lose money. It's not about wanting to lose money or not wanting to lose money. It's it's because Monster Hunter has always been uh, a property that kind of thrived in a handheld environment. And I don't see them going back on that. I'm just happy that at least with the Switch, I can still have the traditional console experience. Even if they do only make it an exclusive. So I'm just happy with that. Yeah, Nightshade is very easy if you have sleep resistance, in my opinion. Um, here's the problem with, with that Crypto Knight 420, right? If the next Monster Hunter is not a Switch exclusive, and it has, like, the visuals of Gen Yu, like, a lot of people are going to slam the next Monster Hunter based on visuals alone. That's why I think it's going to be a, a Switch exclusive. I think they're going to go back to the old art style, but the mechanics are going to be mixed, right? I think that's what the next Moss Hunter is going to be, but I'm not sure. Because I know that Capcom is probably looking at the Switch and like, man, this console had a lot of success, and we weren't really ready for the amount of success it had. They ported Dragon's Dogma over because that was probably easy, considering that Dragon's Dogma was made on PS3 and Xbox 360 and all that. But, yeah, I, I suspect that Capcom definitely wants to have something Monster Hunter exclusive on the Switch. You know what I, you know what I would love, to be honest? Uh, you guys all know that there's the rumors that there's going to be a Switch Pro. I would love it if they made it like a bundle, like a Monster Hunter bundle for the Switch Pro, because I want to buy a Switch Pro uh, whenever that comes out, because I love the Switch, right? So I would buy the Switch Pro, and if they have like a Monster Hunter bundle, because I already wanted to buy the PlayStation 4 Pro Monster Hunter bundle, dude, that controller, I could kill for that controller. Like, did you guys see the Monster Hunter controller? The PS4 DualShock? Dude, that controller is so goddamn good. Let me see if I can get like a, a thumbnail or something without breaking the stream, hopefully. Let's see here. Like, look at this. Look at this thing. Dude! It's red and everything, dude. My favorite friggin' color. Look at it. It's a beautiful controller right there. Friggin' hell. Like, I like the... I like the console as well. The, the console that they did, it's got some vinyls on it and shit. But, like, that controller, dude, that is a sexy controller. Are you playing on PC? I have uh, early access. Capcom sent me a copy. Why would they not just build on the success of World, though? 
because of their roots. Like, you need to understand, uh, Capcom's a Japanese company. And again, I, I could be wrong. This is all speculation, right? But Capcom's a Japanese company. And in Japan, um, also on a world, I would imagine has not seen the amount of success that previous Monster Hunter entries have seen. Because, you know, in Japan, people just don't... They just don't stay at home playing video games. That's just not something that they do a whole lot. Like, they play video games on the go, on the subway at like arcades that kind of stuff so that's why mobile gaming is massive there and when i say mobile i'm including handheld in there of course and that's like why the the market for handheld monster hunters was so big and i think they'll want to have like a mainline entry in the monster hunter franchise for the switch and in order to do that right, I think it will have to be an exclusive. But again, what do I know? I'm just some random guy making random theories. And again, there's also the fact that they've thrown the hints that um, the team behind Gen U is working on a on a handheld Monhan. This is just like hints, though. Nothing's been officially confirmed. Wow, they have to go so far away, Jesus. Is there more ammo? Yeah, there's some stones here. My guess is there will be a handheld series in the World Series for consoles and the gameplay between them will start to converge as each series goes on. Yeah, I agree. Uh, that is definitely a uh, potential, and I definitely hope so. Like, I, The thing that I'm scared of the most is to see Capcom go back to their old ways of like, oh, we're just going to release this in Japan, and then a year from now, if you're lucky, you'll get it in the West. You know? Like, so long as they don't go back to that, I'm happy. That's my biggest fear. Oh, come on! You're not gonna hit that? That's not right. It's not fair at all. That's some bullshit right there. I got cheesed. I got cheesed out of my victory right there. He should have gotten slammed. So do you guys think a Monster Hunter World port on Switch would be a bad idea? Uh, the Switch can't handle this. As someone who believes in the potential of Switch, the Switch can't handle this. Too much game. There's too many mechanics. And if you have any hint of slow up, it becomes a problem. Like, even trying to play this game at, on, like, 4K and consoles is a problem. Now, imagine if the Switch can't run this at, like, at the very least, steady 30. Forget about it, dude. Like, forget about it. You're basically burning the experience. So yeah, I don't think it's a good idea. You know what I think would be an interesting idea? But I don't think they'll do it, because it wouldn't make sense at this point. Is a game with the mechanics of World, but with the visuals of Gen U. Gen U and just the older Monster Hunter visuals. I think that could be a very interesting thing. I just hope that the next Monster Hunter handgel game takes out where you would load into every zone when you walk into. Yeah, I don't think that's going to be a thing. That was mostly a limitation of the PlayStation Portable and the 3DS. Uh, so I wouldn't expect the next Monster Hunter game to have that. But again, I could be wrong. My first Monster Hunter was Try for Wii. Hey, me too, man. I hated it. I thought the game was garbage. Because I didn't understand... Like, I came from, um, I came from World of Warcraft, and I just didn't understand 
what Monster Hunter was doing. And so I looked at it and I was like, this game is hot garbage and I never want to play it again. Not even joking. That's exactly how I felt about Monster Hunter Tri coming from World of Warcraft. <laughs> And this was a, a friend of mine who was the guy who got me into Monster Hunter. He was telling me, dude, you got to get it. It's amazing. He didn't even own a Wii, right? But he had played it on the um, on the PSP. So he was just telling me, dude, the game is fucking awesome. You're going to love it. It's amazing. It's the best game in the world. And I was like, all right, dude. So I started playing and I'm like, no, this game's terrible. I fucking hate it. And I never want to play it again. And then eventually he took me under his wing and... Um, and Freedom Unite. Freedom Unite was when my friend really took me under his wing and he kind of tutored me and taught me the ways of Monster Hunter. And then I was like, oh, I get it now. And then that was it. Then I was like instantly hooked forever. Oh, not dung. Ugh! Ugh! I picked up shit! Does he still have ammo? I don't think he does. Can I have ammo? Hey, you could have just said no, alright? Ooh! Oh, you know who does have ammo? Baroth over there. Oh, that works too. I thought I was going to fall on that mud. And then you said the same to World of Warcraft. What, this game's hot garbage and I never want to play it again? Yeah. Yeah, I probably did. They messed up real bad. I think after Iceborne we won't see anything like it for at least three to four years. Yep, potentially. Makes sense. Which is kind of sad when you really think about it. Imagine... Three or four years without Monster Hunter World, right? Without updates or anything. It's gonna be so hard, dude. But hopefully there will be another Moss Hunter game to uh, keep us entertained in the meanwhile. But yeah, that's gonna be real tough. I have no idea what I'm gonna do <laughs> during those times. <laughs> I legit have no idea what I'm gonna do with uh, in terms of content or anything. And just, just because there's not that many games that have held my interests as of late. No! I have this bad habit of just like instantly pressing R2 after jumping. Is there ammo around here? Yeah, there's some um, water ammo. And there's a hermit crab. Give me that. Oh, yes. Let's go, Cactuar. Fuck him up. That Cactuar is going to fuck you up real bad. No. He was too far. God damn it, he stopped me again. Oh, we got some piercing pods, though. I do have flash pods. I don't know why I'm messing around so much. Oh god, that was bad. I knew that was gonna happen. Alico hit me. Oh, never mind. That works. You guys think you'll hit that? Oh, he goes over it. That's unfortunate.
Dude, the new Celestial outfits might be hitting at a Monster Hunter in space. Ah, uh, now, now that just sounds like some wishful thinking. Maybe GU content for a con Oh, I'm going to be doing GU for sure. But, uh... I'm just saying the channel is not going to live off of GU alone, no way. Because GU is already old. Ain't nobody watching me for GU content. Oh, he's enraged. Shit. I didn't notice that. Let's just get another mount. Dude, this Witcher set has definitely served me well. Do not underestimate the power of the Witcher set. You guys know that every time I hear this music, it reminds me of Socks? Socks as in Socks, the community manager. Not like your your socks from your clothes drawer or something. <laughs> the reason behind that is because the very first time I heard this music um, was at Gamescom when I initially met Socks. Because uh, I met Socks right before... Um, Monster Hunter took the center stage at Capcom and this music was just like blasting and they were doing like a, a gameplay demonstration and that's when I initially met Sox and we're both just watching this stuff and it was amazing to see the crowd reaction to a Monster Hunter game be as impressive as it was because you know that was simply unheard of for Monster Hunter back in the day like most people knew what it was but nobody cared about it. Nobody was like, oh yeah, dude, I can't wait for Monster Hunter. Like, nobody was lining up for Monster Hunter back in the day. We're kind of going to be getting back in Final Fantasy XIV. Yep, at some point. At some point this year, for sure. Um, there's going to be a lot of remasters that I want to play this year. Uh, stuff that I never got around to either finishing uh, or actually really properly playing. So that's Tokyo Mirage Sessions, Xenoblade Chronicles X. Um, there's another one. Which one's the other one? I forget. But there's a bunch of JRPGs that I want to, to check out. And those I'm probably going to be streaming on Twitch. I don't know if I can do content on those or not. Because I just don't know what I would do because they're remasters of really old games. Well, not really old, but some of them are old. Wow, this is an extremely resilient Nightshade Paolumu. Go down! I make the rules here. I need to start thinking about upgrading my weapons, I think. Die! Okay, there is ammo here, so I can slam him. You there, roar, prick bastard. Fine, be that way. Did you 100% MGU? No. That's what I was talking about earlier. I want to do all of the deviant stuff. Which I will do uh, on Twitch. Um, I want to do all the Deviant stuff because I want to make uh, SNSs out of all of them. I'm on a really big SNS high right now. I just want to play SNS over everything else. Goddamn Mickey Mouse looking motherfucker! What happens if I chop off Mickey Mouse's ears? The House of Mouse spoiled my favorite franchise! I hate you! I hate you! Hate you so much I can't even do perfect rush properly while I'm killing you. Oh, Slingerthorn. I hate you, Mickey Mouse. Turn around. Turn around. 
Come on, turn around. Turn around. You didn't like that. It's so dark right now. I should increase the brightness. I'm really sorry, guys. I don't play NPC very often, so... Let me lighten it up a little bit. It's gonna be hard to see this with this Paul Lumo on my ass. Work on Star Wars has never been better. Or worse. Is it possible to 100% MGU? And it's possible to 100% anything. It's just crazy insane. And yes, guys, thank you very much for liking the live stream. It really does help out kind of get through the YouTube garbage algorithm nowadays. Oh man, this nightshade Paul Lumu, dude. How much health do you even have? Players, let me sharpen my weapon. It's blunt for me beating the crap out of you. And now he's leaving. Dude, this is the longest Paul Lumu hunt I've ever done. I guess it is time to upgrade my weapons. <laughs> Wait, is he gonna sleep? Nah, no, he's just kinda hovering around. What are you doing? Oh, he's enraged. Alright. My boys, the Gajalaka, is gonna have their way with you. I eat those Mulatov cocktails. Hate you, Mickey Mouse. Oh, sweet, my palico stopped it. Some of these monsters' tails are such teases. Like, you look at a Paolumu tail, like, oh, look at how big and chunky that is. And then you can't chop it. And then you look at, like, for instance, a Toby Kadachi's tail, you're like, oh, look at how juicy and plump it is. And you can't chop it. These are such teases, man. It's not right. Now, I'm not saying I have a tail chopping fetish, but maybe. Rurikon, do you plan to get any more Safi runs before he leaves tonight? Yes. After this live stream, I'm gonna go have dinner. And after I have dinner, we're gonna be running Safi on Twitch. I will link it to everybody here when this stream's about to end. So that you guys can go and follow there if you want to watch that. But yeah, after this live stream, we'll be running Safi until he leaves. Basically, that's the plan. Dude, what is wrong with this friggin' creature? He simply refuses to die. I'm just gonna take a nap right here, Nightshade. 
Did you get the key by Capcom? Yeah. Then look at the Great Gyro's tail, and you can chop that. Yeah, exactly, Kegrin. Then you see the Great Gyro's tail, who barely even has one. Like, the Great Jagras has a bigger tail than the Great Gyro's. And you can chop his. It doesn't make sense. I want to be able to chop these big, plumpy, juicy tails from this flying rat and his, um, his little buddy. Oh, God, this is going to hurt. Yep. Dude, why does he have so much health, though? Like, he's a mutant. He's the Geralt of Rivia right there. Oh my god. I wish I had the resources I have on the console. I just sleep bombed the crap out of him. Oh my god, dude! Shoot. Okay, I jumped right over it. Hallelujah, Lord. And then I wasted it. Jesus, this slope is awkward to fight. Thank God. That was the longest fight I've ever done. <laughs> Well, no, I've done longer fights, but Jesus. Can I join? The only good Safi runs I had was in your rooms. Dude, as per usual, first come, first serve. That's how it works. But I will give everybody the, you know, the login stuff. Not the login. What's it called? The, the room lobby. So that everybody can join in. Are you playing on the Rectex 12? Yes. All of the graphics are maxed out. The only thing that is not maxed out is resolution which is at 1440p instead of 4k. That's the only difference uh, from this to like whatever max settings you could possibly have on PC. Wish that was a better way to farm Dracolites. You know, there's the rumors of the changes that they're going to make to it. Look at that rat. Doesn't he look just like Mickey Mouse? He looks just like Mickey Mouse. Gives me great pleasure killing him every single time. Every single time. Poses are available right away. Of course. Everything that you had on PS4, you get. I work fast. I would di I would disagree. We received order for Celiana to have serious barrier off sightings. Ooh. Damn, son. Bariotto. It's time for Bariotto. Let's go to the workshop. I want to take a look at the weapons there. I don't think anything that is in there is going to compete with what I got right now. Urkan, do you sometimes feel like World was better than Iceborne? I don't really like Clutch Claw, for example, and this big focus around it. Nope. Personally, no. I think Iceborne is much better. Uh, and I don't mind the focus on Clutch Claw. I do feel like certain weapons could do with a little bit of tweaking with the Clutch Claw. Like, even the Longsword, which is a weapon that I think is brokenly overpowered. Um, even the Longsword, it, it's a pain in the ass to wound. Whenever there's a weapon... Then in order for you to wound, you have to do a lot of gymnastics. Uh, it feels 
not as polished as the rest of the weapons. And I think that a long sword is one of those examples. Another of those examples would be sword and shield and dual blades. But those, they got fixed with the quality of life changes. So I just kind of feel like every weapon needs to get that little bit of a quality of life change. Um, you know, with a, a specific move that triggers the wounding. Like, for instance, gun lances, for, uh, just for an example. Uh, it's something that I've thought about a lot because you guys know I'm a gun lance main. Um, one of the things that I think gun lances could do with, particularly because the, the move of the worm steak blast... It's such a long move. It takes ages to get your Wormsteak Blast on a monster, right? Uh, I kind of feel like Wormsteak Blast should wound when you land it. And that would justify its long-ass animation, the amount of prep work that you need to do in order to get it. And not to mention that, it gives you another reason to focus the um, Wyvern Steak Blast. So, you know, I just feel like some of the weapons could use a little bit of tweaking there. But other than that, I love the focus on Clutch Claw. But then again, I'm someone who loves Dragon's Dogma, which also takes the concept of climbing on monsters and all that stuff. So I've always been into that aspect of the game. As a matter of fact, back when uh, Monster Hunter World, uh, Monster Hunter 4 Ultimate came out for the 3DS, uh, the first weapon that I made was the Insect Clave, specifically because it was the easiest weapon to mount with. So I've always loved mounting mechanics and stuff like that. So the Clutch Claw is something that I personally just embrace. So it's not really, you know, to me personally, I, I don't I don't think like that. Let's take a look at what. I can't forge armor without removing my full armor set. All right. Not aware that was a thing. Nergigante. I can't see that one because we haven't fought a Rathalos. Let's see the water element one. 308. I mean, 308 is as much as we're doing right now, but with blast. So this one's already getting kind of better than what we have. Uh, Legiana is 224. I can't see the actual new one. Royal Rose. 308, 270 poison, 10% affinity. This one's actually really good. Paolumu is 336. Oh yeah, I definitely need to start upgrading my weapons at this point. I definitely need to start upgrading my weapons. Paolumu's actually looking juicy as balls. The amount of raw on that Paolo Lumu sword. 322 with sleep. For the bond. Saber's gullet. I don't know how good the Barioth sword's gonna be. That'd probably be a good one too. But yeah, I definitely need to start upgrading my weapon. I'm thinking this Lumu one. If I had Elementless, I wouldn't even hesitate. I'd just like, bam, Lumu that sucker. Just loom it up. Although, give me give me a, a quick minute, guys. I need to take a bio. Be right back.
Okay. I just reminded myself that in order to craft anything, I'd need materials, of which I don't have. I don't have materials for anything because I just kind of burn through world super fast. This is another problem that I feel like a lot of players that go too fast through world are going to have. Wait, can you just start... Cra no, you can craft this one. So I can craft the rogue wave. There's certain points that allow you to skip, like you can craft this chrome knight, you can craft this rogue wave. But most of them will require you to actually go and fight the older monsters. Like this right here. You need to go do high rank stuff. So I think a lot of players that burn through the content the way that I did are going to get to Iceborne and then their weapon selection is going to be somewhat limited. That's a problem that I personally did not think too much about before I just got presented with it. Like for instance, I want to do the Paolumu but I can't. <laughs> Need to go hunt like low rank Paolumu stuff and then high rank Paolumu stuff and then eventually get here. So the stuff that you didn't kill in world, you'll have to come back and kill in, in Iceborne. I don't know. I think the defender weapons might actually do more harm than good. Now that I think about it. What do you guys think? Random question, Murakan. Did you play Give God of War difficulty? No. I played uh, Give Me a Challenge when I played God of War. I tried Give Me God of War, but the monsters had too many mechanics that I felt like... I felt like it was just tedious. Uh, at least the first patch. I don't know if they've patched it since. But when I played it, I felt like it was very tedious. Like a lot of the encounters, you were basically limited to throwing your axe. Like if you got within an inch of a monster, one shot. So yeah. Uh, AJ Ruopoli, the, the decorations are only active when you are using the mantles. Exactly, the fender actually hurts you because you rush the Iceborne, then you still have to grind high rank. I agree. I agree. I think... I think the defender weapons might have actually been a bad idea. Like, for me it was good, because I could just, like, bypass a lot of the grinding in world to show you guys the footage on PC, but... This is a very niche use case, right? Not every user is going to is going to be having that experience. So, yeah, I think this is going to be a problem for some PC users at least. Does anybody know about the power slash spirit bonus? Uh, if you're talking about the uh, Kinsect stuff, you can ask Kegrin about that. He knows all about it. Kegrin knows all about the Insect Glaive. And grinding high rank is okay when you're in high rank, but once you're in mass rank, you don't want to go back exactly. Every weapon should have a Clutch Claw one hit soften. I wouldn't say it had to be a Clutch Claw one hit soften, but a mechanic for... I mean, it's technically not one hit. You have to hit with a Clutch Claw and then hit with um, the attack. But, like, have a similar mechanic to that. Specific to each weapon that would allow them to wound. I agree. Because it is problematic for some weapons when they can't do that. I didn't play enough of vanilla on PC to be able to tell you scores, but I can tell you that the performance was much better on PS4, and I suspect that on PC you'll see that improvement as well.
Barioth never looked so good. I don't feel like dealing with slamming him into walls. I'm gonna go for the throat from the get-go. There's a very specific part of your body that I want to wound. It's these nasty little claws right here. And all of you Moss Hunter veterans out there know exactly why that is what you want to do. Once you take away his claws, Barioth becomes a little kitten. Oh, that was a fast mount. I didn't even have Feline Rider. Damn it. Uh, I don't remember if you can slam him into nothingness, but I'm gonna try it. Fuck! Come on! Nope, you can't slam him into nothingness. Too much Guiding Lance, too much Safi Jiva makes Rurikan a dull boy. Oh crap, I didn't refresh my items either. Hey, can I get some ammo off of your ass? Sweet. Hello! That was a lot of damage. Goddamn budget Kushala tornadoes. Well, all right then. I guess he didn't like that statement. He was like, The fuck you called my tornadoes? Budget Kushala? Show him. <laughs> like I said, dude, there's going to be a lot of players that are going to be hitting a wall when they get to uh, some of these tougher monsters because of the fact that, you know, you have your old armor, you have your... Well, armor-wise, maybe not because... You can craft, like, uh, Bombaru and stuff like that. I mean, I'm still using the Witcher set, so... Just to be expected, I take a ton of damage. But weapon-wise... Yeah, there needs to be... I, if they want to keep the Defender set, they need to also implement, like, some kind of a catch-up mechanic for the materials of the high rank monsters. Which I'm not sure if the master rank monsters also drop materials for their older counterparts. It's like, if I go hunt a Paolumu now, I probably won't get low rank Paolumu materials, I would imagine. And even if I do, it'd be very little. Oh my god. This is the game's way of saying, just go get better armor, dude. Just, just come back when you have better armor. See the amount of damage you dealt right there?
Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, dude, forget about that. Hey, Pavan, what's up, dude? Happy New Year. Yeah, there's no way to, to continue forging ahead with this armor. It's like, forget about it. Need to craft something new. I need a Therio craft a whole new armor set. I'll give it one more shot. Let me uh, get this stuff here. So you guys need to understand, this armor isn't even like fully upgraded, right? So like, I get one, sh not one shot, but very close to one shot right now. Okay, let's see this. One shot is better. Yes, you see, the moment I started carting, Pavan showed up. It's like he can smell it. He can smell the carts. That's the power of Pavan. Good luck with that. You have, like, what, 15 minutes? Yeah, exactly. That's why I said I'm going to give this one more shot before, uh, before we wrap up. Because I'm not going to have enough time to, like, craft an armor set. That's why... I that's why I took the time to craft a good enough set that would allow me to get through some content. But yeah, Berioth is going to require some upgrades that I don't have. No, not the bone pile, the piercing pod. Please, 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 please. Nice. Yeet! The timing when the, the frame rate is better is slightly different. <laughs> it's very frustrating. Because I have the PS4 timing. But on PC it's a little bit faster. Oh my god. Barrioth, please no. And there you go. <laughs> uh, see, Johnson, why no claw uppercuts to weaken? Uh, because that quality of life patch is not on this version of the game yet. Uh, I suspect they're going to implement it day one. But uh, as, of, as of right now, it is not on the PC version yet. So if, even if you do uh, claw uppercuts to weaken, it will not work. Otherwise, I would do it. I've been practicing those quite a bit on the piece, on the console side of things. Okay, let me just get a, a good shot here. Actually, let's go to the gathering hub. They need to fix that ASAP. Yeah, I know. Uh, I do hope they bring all of that quality of life with the day one patch. Otherwise, it's going to be very frustrating for everybody else. But yeah, guys, this is um, Monster Hunter World Iceborne on PC. As you guys can see, performance is pretty good. This was running on 1440p. Uh, you can run all the way into uh, 4K. It has HDR support, all of the good stuff. Get 4K for picture. I can't um, because I'm streaming to YouTube. Not not because I'm streaming to YouTube, because I'm streaming. And when you pick a resolution that you're going to be streaming at, you can't change that resolution because this is going to become a video. Imagine the video changing resolution halfway, so you can't do it. But you can play it at, at 4K. Um yeah, running a preview build. This is a this is a preview build. I mean, it's a preview build, but it's going to be final. So like all the progress that I've done, I get to keep all that when the game goes live. Uh I have access because Capcom gave me access. But yeah, guys, this is Iceborne on PC. For uh, you can get 4K, you can get 60 FPS. Uh, in my case it was running 1440. It looks beautiful. 
It runs very, very well. Uh, I'm running this on a 2060 GTX, for those of you that weren't around at the beginning. Um, and yeah, dude, it's Monster Hunter. It's going to be worth it if you guys enjoyed World. You're going to love Iceborne. If you guys have been waiting, I highly recommend it. It's my favorite game of all times. I love it. Yeah, that's, uh, that's pretty much it. If anybody has any questions, I'll take those now. We still have a couple of... Uh, so I have a couple of minutes left on stream. Let me just go into view mode. Actually, no, I got an idea. Let's go into the sauna. I always like doing Q&A at the sauna. Steam bath. Change clothing. Okay, I, I didn't like the noise that guy made. That was very pervy. I was like, oh, yeah. <laughs> like, what the fuck, dude? Ugh. Uh, how do you go into camera mode now? Okay, let's start. Now I can hide the camera, like so. Would you say that increased the graphical, that they increased the graphical performance of the game? Uh, I would say yes, but again, I didn't play too much of World. Uh, but I will tell you that on the PS4, I noticed a significant difference in performance. It was much better. Some players might not have that opinion, but I thought it was better, and I played a ton on PS4. Um, and on PC, it's kind of hard for me to judge because the first time I played it was on a 970, now I'm playing it on a 2060, so the performance is supposed to be better. But I think they did do some improvements uh, performance-wise. Um, wonder if my GTX 1070 can handle this. Yes. Uh, Antonio Cunningham, I'm running uh, a GTX 1070 on my laptop, and it runs this fine at 1080p, though. 1080p. Uh, 1080p, it runs perfectly fine on my laptop. No issues. When might the Safi Siege come back? Potentially the with the new events, but I'm not sure. Is it out on PC? Uh, on the 9th. On the 9th. I think it's my monitor is 4K, playing 1440p looks worse than 1080. Are you sure? Because, like, my TV is 4K as well, and I'm playing this on a TV, but my TV is 4K as well, and 1440 actually looks pretty good. I guess it depends on whether or not you have, like, the um, the scaling thing on the television. Depends on the price of it. Yeah, I had issues with that as well. Okay, guys, um, looks like that was pretty much it. Uh, if you guys enjoyed the stream, please do leave a like it really really helps me out like think about how much you think it helps me out for you to leave a like on the stream multiply that by nine thousand, and that's how much it actually helps me if you like this stream to uh penetrate through the youtube algorithm and all that jazz um oops i didn't mean to move that also uh guys later we are going to be running safi jiva on twitch i'm just gonna go get dinner and we're going to be running Safi Jeeva on Twitch. So if you're not following me on Twitch yet, make sure to follow me on there because I'm going to be streaming there um, quite a bit and starting later tonight. I'm going to go do Safi Jeeva. So go in there, follow me so that you get notified when I go live. I'll also send out like a tweet and stuff. And uh, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Hopefully this gave you, um, you know, a little bit of uh, insight as to whether or not you want to play Iceborne on PC. Uh, once again, this copy was provided to me by Capcom so that I could show you guys all of this stuff. Thank you very much, Capcom, for the early copy. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Love you all. See you guys in the next one. Peace out, team. Stay strong. And may your shields never break. Start the new year strong, everybody. Happy New Year.